Hi guys, Violet Thor here, back again with some of your football manager content. This time it's going to be with non League Legends series getting started. So, as you can see there, because it's non League Legends, there's quite a lot of leagues actually loaded. And go to National Notes, because that's in takeover by Live Spartans, because that is actually the closest team to whereabouts I live. That is in the lowest league. We'll use what is recommended for five Spartans. Let's get the show on the road. So what no new legend? I know that's his final save. Don't worry, that's not mine. That's a little Lujo's. I downloaded that. I'm going to put Blythe at the end of it so we know which one's ours. There you go, non League of Legends, Blythe. Hope you guys are really enjoying the content. Don't forget, in the description below, there is numerous of our series that we have started on um, Football Manager. There will also be a new series starting in 2019's version of it when that comes out. But if you haven't got any ideas over what you would like what to do, in the meantime, drop yourself, eh, drop us some ideas in the description, not in the description, in the comment section, sorry. Also, if, you, if you're enjoying what you've been watching, hit the like button for us, please. Also, if you're new around here, why don't you go ahead and do everybody a favour and drop a sub on the channel. Find out when I'm live. Also find out whenever I upload new videos. Because if you are new around here you won't know but I do upload almost daily. Look. Maybe there's a couple of days here, and here or there that I don't manage to do a stream, but I certainly still get his, his a video out. I mean, everybody's got to start somewhere, right? So in any case, we need to do. We need to just get in, get this show on the road. Don't want you guys have to wait around for too, too long. Never good when you're waiting around forever for somebody. So. Bear with me two seconds there, please. Right. Remember, like all, like always, first thing we'll go and do is want a direct half up to be able to bring the stuff in. So let's go there and just stick out that form. Set that. Introduction to the team. Oh, that's champion. Let's continue with that. Let's go and meet the team. We're about to expect to finish again. I think it was mid table. Hope it was at least, unless I completely screwed this up. We're going to try and make the playoffs though. So. I 
don't forget on our channel, we do have some more awesome content with the likes of your Fortnite coming your way, your um, Vampire, State of Decay, FIFA, all of our great stuff like that in the playlist so if you go and have a look at them. Don't want to speak to the media. Let's go ahead and get some training done on the lads. Remember, like I have said in previous videos, this is the most up-to-date um, database. But yes, I have edited, but I haven't done anything other than put the players in the correct teams and the stuff in the stuff and name the coaching teams in the correct place. So I'm not trying to cheat at all. Cheating is not how I enjoy playing games. He doesn't want to coach him. And only two out of three for the player cute Aaron was successful ever. That's not too bad. Nothing to write home about. I would like to have all three to have agreed with what the manager did say, but after all I'm only a manager I'm only the manager. Players obviously think of the boss around here. I mean, come on, whoever listens to the managers, let's be real. You know you ain't listening to your manager if you, get away, if you can get away with it. Let's apply that. Oh, I know one thing we forgot to do, guys. We need to... There's some other formation that can... A base formation that can work on. Remember also if there's any games that you would like to see we play, please put it in the comment section down below or 
you'll be able to find with Twitter and with Facebook down below. You can always drop one of the message on that. Remember, all the saves that we've done on Football Manga have got something to do with me. So, whether that be close to me, to whereabouts I live, or the whole special place in my heart, we've done series on them. For each day of the week, there's a different series. The schedule for that is in the description below. Also, if you guys are watching the World Cup, I really hope you are enjoying it and that your team hasn't yet been eliminated. With me being English, I'm really excited about how far we can get. Please let us know in the comments if the microphone is any good because I've got a feeling it's not the best so I'm hoping to be improving the setup that we've got also when this heat wave currently, that we're currently going under in England does pass. Face cam will be coming back. Sorry, face cam will be making an appearance. I say not coming back. I've never used it before. So there will be a face reveal. Just a case of I don't really want to be going on camera when I'm absolutely sweating off the scorching heat that we've got at the minute. As I did say, we've got to save for the Lujo that I enjoy playing off stream and off video. I am going to leave Lujo's um, channel in the description below. So if you want to go and check him out, if you haven't, if you're not already, um, if you don't already know about him, or you're not already something on the greatest a uh, football manager youtubers out there it's one of the inspirations for me starting the um, football manager saves on YouTube
before that I was just doing FIFA Fortnite, State of Decay and the others. So if there's anyone that you do want to thank, it's him. If you still go over and watch any of his content, please let me know. I violated Dark Game and sent you. be great to be able to collab with him when we get a bit bigger. Or even if he'd collab with us now. I'd be very interested in doing some sort of collaboration. Also, if you're affected by the fire in Manchester, the massive wildfire that's currently broken out, my heart goes out here. If you're not but you live in Manchester, please, please, please stay safe. And listen to any sort of people in government, the army, the Air Force, whoever comes to help us. Remember, even if they ask you to leave, they're only doing it for your own safety. Remember the first episode of these are normally aren't that interesting. More interesting bit starts after the first episode because in the first episode we're literally just getting used to we're like meeting the team, we're playing the preseason friendly, we're getting through preseason. We're bringing new players in, bringing doing different stuff really. Bring like members of staff in. Obviously, once we get beyond the first episode, though, that is when all your interesting stuff's going to start happening, such as your games. Once we get we direct our football in, which shouldn't hopefully be too much longer. Two seconds, guys. Need to answer the phone. If I can work out where to put it. Hello? 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 Just go what you said and come home. Yeah, do you go near the chip eat your mouth or not? What do you mean by very expensive?
cause it will, the heat will keep it warm. Just come home and then we'll, you can head out somewhere for dinner for us. No, not really. Oh, so you're going to a chippy house, I'll tell you. I fancy it like sausage and chips or something. on the phone too long as I am trying to make a video. Okay. Okay, bro. Okay. Okay. Love you. Bye. Sorry about that, guys. I was just on the phone to my other half there. Hopefully that hasn't put we're on too much of a backward spiral. Hopefully bring him in. Don't want to pay anything for him. Bring him in. Ah! Click the wrong thing. Again. He's not exactly the best at the minute, but bringing them in for the future. Bring this guy in if he's any good. I don't even, he's not too good. And he's also not decent enough to be classed as a backup. Let's check out these guys. getting with him. He's good enough, I would say. This guy can come in. Tom Craddock. I think he's going to be good enough to be first choice. Oh, if we play with two strikers, he could be. Don't want to offer him too, too much though. Because if we do off arm too too much. We're not gonna have any money to bring other people in. How about Liam Griffin? Again, I don't think he's the best that we've got. Nope. Brandon Smalley. Jonathan Hurst. Don't think Brandon Small is anything. Nope. Johnny Hurst. With five star potential list, I don't even need to check if he's going to be any good to be in the other first team. Potential's enough to bring him in. Remember, straight in if you're a five star potential. Two of him. Straight in because of his five star potential. Get rid of that signing on fee. Don't have money around to use pot stuff for signing on fees. Again, I don't think this guy's going to be good enough to make it. Nope. How about br him? Ooh. Nah, we'll take a gamble on him. Alex Marrow. Ah, he's going to be, if he comes in, he'll be the best central midfielder that we've got. That is something to be able to take the risk on. 
We're going to take a risk. Dag it. Let's have no comment to say about that, please. We've got no comment. Thank you. No comment. Remember when Starrett our football comes in we can ask him to advise one who we could loan. I normally go for a goalie. A centre back. A central midfielder. An attacking midfielder if we're gonna play one. And a striker. Is normally the five that you're allowed. Oh, Blast Watton's winning again, 2 0 there. So Darren Holloway seems to be doing well with them in pre season. Now it's down to us just to prove our free season isn't a flash in the pan. But I do have all confidence in my players to prove that. Welcome these people to the club. Um, get in there and do it. Okay. Robbie Dill, you want Robbie Dill to take care of it? Well, that's Robbie Dill to go and take care of it. I wish to God these players would listen to me. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Guys, could you just leave in the comments section down below if you understand why players don't like welcoming other players to the club? I'm not too sure why it is. Be very interested to find out why though. I still remember my favourite save is I had an Arsenal one. A couple of football managers back. When I kind of bankrolled Arsenal, making me own money. Via bringing in free transfers that were young. They were like young, hungry free transfers with good um, determination. It's selling them on for more than I brought them in for, obviously. For you, after loaning them out, because obviously when, once you loan them out, they start to get some first team experiences. If you guys would like to see that sort of save, please put it in the comment section down below. I would be very willing to do a save like that. Also, put it that, put in the comment section down below to so say like, I don't know. Uh, oh, 
past Arsenal save. This time use Man United, this time use Arsenal, this time use Chelsea, this time use Newcastle, this time use whoever you would like us to use. Remember though, it will, if I will do that for you, so I think you could really enjoy that one. The last time I was bringing people in for like 70 million because I was selling like 3 or 4 players a season for 10 million each. And obviously even once I couldn't get work permits. We're still going because we're still we managed to develop enough to be really good. Some of them, if they develop enough, have to give in with us. If you guys, if I don't see any comments in the comment section down below saying that you would like to see that though. Then I won't do it, but I think I may consider it for Football Manager 2019 in any case. I still, like I said, I remember doing that and I really like that. It's been hard the first couple of seasons because you just need to accept the money that you get given off the board. In any case, back to this save. Hey! Um, we've got some people interested to come in. Here. That Brazilian looks absolutely terrible. How about a Scottish block? Well, he looks ah, rude. How about him? He's even worse than the Brazilian dude. How about him? He's even worse. Than, uh, he's also worse than. Uh, Right, I know who's coming in. It's going to be this Scottish 38 year old from Brisbane Raw. We're not going to go and talk to the media about any of those new signers. Me and the media don't really get along. I normally end up screwing stuff up if I talk to the, if I talk, if I talk sorry, to the media. Me. We'll keep the size picture up live, haven't you? Have? We don't want to go too, too crazy in the first season. It's all about sort of holding on to what we've got and trying to improve on it. You did check the midfielder to be brought in on loan. I've just remembered I have got Gerald Rivers. So if you guys remember anything about him, or know anything about him, and you know who he is. If not, he did once come up to the Premier League. 
not the Premier League, sorry, the league, like league football, played for Blackpool, and then went back and signed for Blythe again. Go and set some of these responsibilities up. So, assistant manager does a lot of work, and so does work direct our football. But, it's a bit like real life. I did promise you guys that we're going to go and look at some more assignments, so just deal with these couple of things first. Then we'll go to the transfers. Go to direct our football. Go to... See what we can get in the way of loaning a goalkeeper. Excellent or... That's in the wall, man. Not too sure about you guys. But I think Jack Sims... Jack Sims looks like the best one, if I'm not mistaken there. Won't get men on loan. Let's have a look with Central Defenders. There is Keith Keeney. He doesn't look too, too bad. Oh, Alex Lord, he looks... Alex Lord looks like the best one now. Ah, don't have a trial. Thank you. So Josh Hawks looks quite good. G.I. Grant doesn't look the best. Ooh, Tile... I don't know. It's toughest. Either him... Or Josh Hawks, but... Just because he's at a better team, I'm going to go Tile Blake. Tyler Blake, sorry. And we want a striker. Harry Waterhouse, doesn't look the best. Elliot Murray, doesn't look the best. Oh, oh, 14 finishing in the National League North could be very good. And we're also bringing somebody in from Mansfield, so hopefully that'll help that one come, sh come through. So, the teams that were looking at, um, the teams that went in to talk to different players about have all accepted. What's this lad looking like? Like he doesn't stand a chance at this club. What's this one looking like? Again, like he doesn't stand a chance at this club. What's this one look like? Again, like he doesn't stand a chance at uh, this club. Let's 
Let's see if any of those fall any worth bringing in. Ooh, Rio Murray looks okay, I would say. We'll, I just think we're going to bring him in. Pardon me. For speed, I don't think he's going to be... Nah, because speed's not worth it. Jack Bradley, is he worth it? To pity that because he looks really good, but he's just not going to make cut the mustard here. No, he's certainly not worth it. Do, 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 do. one of coaches going out on a coaching course. Nice to know there's a little bit of money in this club. I didn't know that previously. Hey, Tyler Blake's coming in. Going out inside now, head for two. Hey, Ellis Williamson's came in. Real Murray's coming in. Remember, at the minute. Signing people that look half decent for the first team, even if you're a youngster, you've got to look half decent for the first team. So you can be like somewhere you know you can't come in as the worst, basically. And you've got to have decent potential. Come the end of the season, though, we're gonna go ahead and look at this player from the Premiership. These players from the championship. These players from League One and Two. You've got to have five star potential to get come through the door, so. As well as release players from the rest of um, the UK, because realistically, that is the type of players that little other teams like your Blythe Sport and still bring in. Remember, we need to spend at least two seasons here, and if we can only leave if the right job becomes available. So we don't want to, if we can help it, we don't want to be making sideways steps. If you, if no matter what way you step, if you step sideways, you're more or less likely just going to end up in a circle of staying at those AM Calabar clubs. Not something we're after. Oh, Jared Rivers on this game's a winger. I, th I always thought Jared R Rivers was an attacking midfielder, he's not a winger. Okay, we'll go and ask for direct our football for an attacking midfielder. Make sure there wasn't already people on one at this club, I don't think there was though. Nope, dirt off up all oh, come and give us a right at one please.
Try that. He looks okay, eh? He looks worse though. He looks okay. He looks a little bit better than the others. Let's go and offer him a loan offer. There's that young goalkeeper like Jack Sims that we wanted coming in, or Sims, however you say that. Looks like mm, probably just a couple of weeks away from the start of the season. Ooh! What was the sign? Sacco. What Sacco? Mamadou Sacco. Muhammad Sacco is joining the world. Why, why am I saying Sacco? It's so cool, sorry. Well, better know him, Momo Sasuko. Right, so top player odds for the National League North is Grimsby. Yeah. Kidder Minister Harry has James O'Connor. Boston United's Nathan Arnold. The Newton Towns George Green. Alfreton Towns James Baxendale. York City, Danny Rowe, or Gonsley's, Deal Southwell. I think our guys might have something to say about that. So we've got that attack in midfield in that we wanted. Dennis Brownhill. Double double barrel name there for you guys. And that he's a pot one. Oh, oh. Alex Lade's coming in. Young centre back from Bradford. I apologise for this video coming out late for you, unfortunately I hadn't, didn't have it um, recorded in advance, this is why I try to record stuff in advance, because I've got a feeling it will be out about 5 o'clock today. Don't worry though, now that I've made this mistake, I've, I have been working on the other saves, so they should all come out on the morning for you. Well, I'm saying on the morning. Should all come out at the latest about three o'clock. Eventually, sign that key scout that water.
control what you guys think. But a little uh, idea for football managers, I would love to see them bring in the women's team. I think women's football needs to push just as much as men's do. Because to be fair, I do watch a fair bit of women's football. And I must say, I respect the women football players a lot more than I respect the men football players. Because the women football players don't fall down as if they've been shot whenever they get tackled. So there you go, the creator of the football manager. You just can have that one for free. Women's football teams. That's the key thing in 2019, please. Also, I'd love to see them bring back the possibility of being able to manage as a woman. I know they had that in the last one. Unsure why they took it away this one. To me, that does seem quite sexist. Because, what's to say, a last girl, a woman, whatever you want to call them, is not going to load up this game and think, ooh, I fancy managers. Could then very easily be put off when they find out that it can't be a girl in it. Sports Interactive, if you're listening, there's a few ideas there. I thank all you guys, though. My video, my videos. We've got over a thousand hours of videos. In this one, I'm going to go ahead and do something I don't normally do for you guys. If we managed, if we managed to hit the game again, Ultra Gym before this hits an hour, I'll actually go ahead and play both of them for you. So that one, and I think that's surely hiding behind the record thing. I can't see the top right hand corner, so if it's not surely, please forgive me. Okay, I'll correct myself now that I know it's Geisley. Like I did say though, I could only say the EY at the end. So I don't know if it's going to happen, but that'll be four and a half minutes to advance like five years. That's not too bad.
on me. If you guys don't already know, want to play these games though, we don't come back until a little while because I am trying to advance these saves for you. I don't think you would want us popping back every other game unless we won't get very far in the same. But I will let you know when we'll be joining you again once we've played these two games. I love you, say. Ooh, in the National North, League games certainly come thick and fast, don't they? On Saturday we've got Alton Jim, on Tuesday we've got Gartley, and then again on Saturday. Used to find increased support. We need four defence, four support. We'll have five because of the goalkeeper though, four. Defend, 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 defend. Then all defenders. Support. 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 How many support rules did it say? Three or four, right. Support, support, support. There's three. One of these wingers could be on attack. And... Well, that could be in advanced. Remember, we'll try our hardest to listen to the assistant manager for tactics. I'm not the best tactician out there. If all those happen to go pear shape though, I'm not afraid to try and dabble in a little bit of tactics. I used to be able to make quite successful tactics. Then all these little new things started coming into football manager. I just completely knocked it. There's not been able to do any type of tactics. So I'm just going to try and claim that I'm going to go out there and get a world beaten tactic. So like me is, like I've just said, we're not going to. We might if we need to, once we want to make a tactic, fall up on a decent one. So we'll play this one and the next game. <coughs> That's from seconds if you want to know how I Enjoy watching stuff. Ooh, just wait. My lads really need to put up the idea to your
Okay, so not many funds turning off what to do. We're asking Alex to ease off his start goals because he is currently booked. Really good so far, but it's a little bit of encouragement here to show that things can get better for. Rivers deal with it. We've got Reed, we've got Hey penalty. Who's gonna take the penalty? Yay, Joe Gorham. Joe Gorham, sorry, managed to score it. Maguire put it just wide. Lovely cross by um, Deal after keeping the ball in though. <laughs> Good job they couldn't make any more fat chance over for them there. Need Nope. Let's take Don McGuire off and put Tom Craddock on. Bring off Jared Rivers for Adam Wrightson. the fact that that defender that we've got on loan is looking nervous and he's on a yellow card we'll bring on yes some but old form Don't, didn't want that defender losing his head so No, we just couldn't hold on. 87th minute and the gravel equalizer. Dang damn it. Yeah, no, still not too still not too bad. Can we grab a winner on the last couple of minutes yet? Nope. Oh,
would have made more for chances there. We could have maybe won. Guys, you look like a quite good team. I mean, let's go through and see if I remember these. I think the goalkeeper I used to play with for four. Harry Flowers, I'm sure he was a youth in a Premier League team. Or Atkinson, I'm sure he played Premier League football. Callum McFarsdean, of course, he was at Sheffield United. Gavin Hall. First, again, it's the some sort of league football. And I'm fair, I'm sure it's from Leeds as a youngster. And K. Arabaji, I'm sure I used to play for like the likes of your Bonds Leeds and stuff. So, we're not going to worry too much. But I like to go out there and do ourselves proud. I think we should go defensive with a structured. Six defense, one attack. Easy enough. Put a defender from midfield out to defend. Change the wing off for support. It drops it down to what we need it. If I try out to him. Send all that down to the end of 20 threes. We'll ask Peter Jameson if he'll come in. The bird he won't. Peter Jameson just down the full young goalkeeper. Guys, game four for ten, getting these Wolverhampton. Sorry, getting these a um, trial. See if it's any good. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Oh my God. I don't think we're going to be able to afford him, unfortunately. No. Let's ask Chris to pick the Q's team again. Of course I am going to go and just put... 
the guys that we've got, though. I'm glad I didn't feel too well last game. That's what guys that were brought in on loan involved in some way in the team. We'll get this one kicked off. Being a good goal. Oh. well in defence so far. Oh, the next win strike is going to come off. Oh well. Let's see who. What type of experience we can get on form? Could it be Lee Gill? Could it be Kid Wadabajo? Who knows? Again, this young broad that looks like it'll find you the thing. You can how is that a different thing? Oh, Gordon Williamson. Ooh, you shouldn't have put the shot in there, you should try to run it. Set a shot on top of him a shuffle. But it wasn't on top of him. I'm going to take off the one with you and bring on Brown Hell.
Let's see if again. Remember, draw the draw if it does end in a draw. Looks better on our behalf than on their behalf. Before too long, we'll be putting John Maguire out of the play here. Now, also, when you drop down off defensive, maybe just go down to standard. Shot. It was meant to be across. What a shot by Joe Rivers. Go on, Rivers. Ah! So, when you see the experience. Of league football in this Galaxy squad, one nil's a kind of decent result for them. Obviously, if we can get it back to drawn, that'd be over the moon. <gasps> right, and just missed with his head. Ah. Can keep this in. Across the rivers. Oh, rivers must have his header. It's going to end 1 0. I'm sure of it. We're going to come back to you for Stockport brought me game. Till next time, though. Have a nice day. Drop a hit, aim, drop a like button, hit the sub, turn on notifications, and until next time, peace out.